Hi, and welcome back to the channel. What I've got for you today is something you've never seen before. This is the prototype of a brand new mount that I'm evaluating. And this is the first view anyone's ever had of this product. Let's learn more about it. The first impression I got from this mount is it's lighter than expected given how much weight it can handle and it's well built. The mount will be sold unbundled so you can use a pier, tripod, or whatever system you want to support it. I added a Losmandy dovetail saddle to the side and strapped on my big Tech 160 FL refractor. This scope has a focal length of 1120 millimeters and weighs 14 kilograms with rings, dovetail, and handle. The mount handled it with ease. Note that with a single scope on one side, there is no need for counterweights provided you balance it properly. One innovation this mount offers is what's called comfort balancing. How many of you with refractors have dreaded looking near the zenith because the eyepiece will be low to the ground? The comfort balance provides an offsetting counterweight that allows you to push the scope forward. In my tests with my Tech 160, when the scope was balanced without a counterweight, the eyepiece was 27 inches above the ground at the zenith. After adding the counterweight, the same position was 5.5 inches higher. This may not sound like a lot, but let me tell you, when you are crouching down, that extra height is very welcome. And for small refractors, you'd be higher still and even more comfortable. It's a nice feature. The maximum weight of one scope on one side is 25 kilograms, 11 more than I tested it with. Another cool feature is the built-in encoders that allow you to use it with Sky Safari. More about that later. You can also mount two telescopes on the sides. This is a configuration I use for solar public outreach, where I have one scope set to show hydrogen alpha and the other scope set up to show broadband. Once initially balanced, the scope was easy to move with one finger. The two telescopes can weigh 25 and 15 kilograms respectively. Finally, there's a three telescope configuration. I frankly don't know why you'd use three telescopes, but it works and it sure looks cool. Even with this massive load, the mount was rock steady and buttery smooth to move on both axes. Three scopes can weigh 20 kilograms, 15 and 15. I took the mount to a star party to get reactions from experienced astronomers as well as random guests with no experience. A few representative comments included, this is almost cheating, once set up, a child could use it, or this is too easy. The mount comes with encoders that allow you to connect a Wi-Fi adapter like the Nexus 2, which is not included. Setup on Sky Safari was a bit tricky, but that's because I was paying the price of being the first to use the mount and there weren't any instructions. Once I got the directions clear, it was smooth sailing. You turn on the Nexus 2 and Wi-Fi connect your phone or tablet to it. Then on Sky Safari, you connect to the scope. Then you push the scope until you're centered on a star, select the star in Sky Safari and press Align. Then repeat that process for another star 90 to 120 degrees away and align again. After that, whenever you push the scope, a little crosshair reticule moves on your app. I had a complete novice looking at it at the star party. I positioned the scope on Venus, I handed him the app, and I showed him on the app where Neptune was and said, see if you can find Neptune in the telescope. He pushed the scope until the crosshairs were on Neptune and was delighted with a little blue dot that appeared in the eyepiece as expected. So overall, I like the mount for visual use. It doesn't track and it's not for astrophotographers. Pricing has not yet been announced, but expect this to be a premium product. Counterweight arms, counterweight side saddle adapters, and the Nexus 2 will be priced separately, so you can configure it the way you want. I don't know of any visual mount on the market that has this combination of capacity, quality, and feature set. If you're looking for a very high quality mount to use for visual, this could be something to consider. I'll put a link to the supplier in the notes so you can follow up and see when it's announced. I'll also let you know on my YouTube channel in the community notes when I see that the official announcement's been made. I always appreciate you subscribing to the channel and thanks for watching.